Phew, sorry for the sweat. I just ran around the field with the Grand Wees earlier. Where is she now? Well, how are you boys and girls? It's good to see you here today. I am Mr. D, and as usual, I am accompanied by this lovely Gram Wiz. Just where is the Gram Wiz? I thought she came here first. Ah, just sorry, Mr. D. I, I went to get some drinks earlier. Ah, I, I felt so thirsty from my run just now. Okay, Grand Wiz, take a deep breath, will you? By the way, do you have any drinks for me? Um, sorry, Mr. D. I bought some for you, but I felt so thirsty. So, I drank yours on the way here. Well, that is so thoughtful of you. Oh yeah, boys and girls, I heard that. You've learned about simple present tense last week. Did you have fun learning it? Should we recall the lesson or a bit? So, Grand Wiz, if you don't mind. Sure, Mr. D. Well, dear friends, we use simple present tense to show uh, the actions that we do every day and even facts. Normally, we would use time expressions such as every day, every month, every year, every fortnight, always, never, and frequently in a present tense sentence. Let's say you always wear a black shirt on Monday evening. You'll say I always wear a black shirt every Monday evening. With the words such as always and every, you can straight away confirm that this sentence is in the present tense form. Therefore, the verb wear is used. Well, thank you, Grandwiz, for the help. I am more convinced than ever that you are, indeed, grammar know-it-all. So, boys and girls, since we've learned about simple present tense last week, it is only fair to learn about its opposite, which is none other than simple past tense. What's simple past tense? Contradict to simple present tense, simple past tense is used to show that the action has been completed in the past. In other words, it had already happened. Now, try to remember what you did yesterday. Too hard? Let me help you then. I don't need a crystal ball, but I am pretty sure you brushed your teeth in the morning and took a shower before you left the school yesterday. Right? See, one point for me. Since these two actions had already happened yesterday, when I want to talk about it, I had to use simple past tense. So, I would say, I brushed my teeth and took a shower yesterday. Did you get the concept of simple past tense? Take it this way. As long as the action has been done, it is an example of simple past tense. Okay? So, is there any specific words which indicate simple past tense? Can we still use words like every day, every month, and etc.? The answer is yes and no. Yes, there are words that show simple past tense. And no, we cannot use words like every day, every month, and etc. because that is only applicable for simple present tense. For simple past tense, you could always use the following words. 
yesterday, a few minutes ago, a few weeks ago, a few years back, last year, last month, last Sunday, and last August. These are some of the most common time words which you can use for simple past tense. Please bear in mind, boys and girls, that only the verbs change. The subject remains the same, regardless being singular or plural subject. Therefore, you can never say CT it walk yesterday because the correct form should be City walked yesterday. City is the subject in the sentence. Hence, it has to remain unchanged. Walk, however, is a verb. Therefore, it could change over the course of time. So we add the ending ed after the verb walk to indicate that the action of walking has been done in the past. You must be thinking, should I always add ed at the end of every past tense verbs? Well, it is true for some verbs, but in general, verbs itself are divided into three types. The first one is called verbs to be. There are only two examples of past tense verbs to be that you should know of. They are was and were. Was is used together with singular subject and I. For example, I was home yesterday evening. She was in her room last night. However, if the subject is a plural subject, we need to use the verb to be were. For example, they were at school yesterday evening. My father and I were in the backyard when we heard the crash. Let's do a simple exercise together. For this, I would need you to fill in the blanks with the correct verbs to be, either was or were. Remember, was is used for I and singular subject, while were is used for you and plural subject. Good luck! Are you done? Let's discuss the answers now, yeah? For number one, Nala was asleep when I got home. The answer is was because there is singular subject, which is Nala. For number two, the answer is were because there are two subjects in the sentence, Putra and Putri. For number three, was is the correct answer because there is only one subject, which is he. For number four, the correct answer would be were because there are more than one pencils. And finally, for question number five, the answer is were because Regardless of the number of the subject, you is always considered as plural. I hope you got them all correct. You deserve a pat on your back. Another type of verb which is very common is the regular verbs. In general, both regular and irregular verbs are action words. So, it could be anything that you and I do. However, the rules are different for each of these verbs. For regular verbs, you either add D, ED, or IED 
at the end of the action words. For example, the word walk earlier. If the action of walking has been done in the past, we should say walked. But when do we need to add D? ED and IED. Let's do this one at a time, shall we? We need to add D at the end of a verb to show past tense if the verb ends with E. For example, arrive. I arrived at the airport at 8 p.m. last night. From this example, we could easily notice that the ending letter of the word arrived is E. Therefore, we need to add D at the end of it. However, when the words end with the letters such as D, K, T, S, W, N, we need to add ED at the end of the action words. For example, wait, kiss, show, clean. He waited at the school canteen yesterday. She kissed her mom on her cheek just now. Fatma showed her friends the way to Alamanda Mall this morning. They cleaned the bathroom floor using the mop. Do you still remember what do we call these words? This morning, just now, and yesterday? Exactly, they are the time words which are used only for past tense. Moving on, sometimes we need to add IED at the end of the action words which end with Y to indicate the past tense. However, you should be extra careful here because there are two different situations to apply this rule. Number one, if the letter before Y is a vowel, be it a, E, I, O, or U. You need to add ED instead. So, if the word at hand is play, the past tense form should be written as played. For example, we played volleyball together back in our university days few years ago. Number two, if the letter before Y is a consonant, either B, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, and Z, we need to drop the Y, change it with an I, and then add ED after it. Take the word try, for example. Because the letter before Y is a consonant, R, we need to replace Y with I, and then add ED behind it, which brings it to tried. For example, Joey tried his best to complete the game last night. Now, try this rapid round with me. I will flesh out the verbs one at a time. And you have to choose the correct answer by choosing the right color buzzer buttons. If your chosen buzzer lights up like this, that means you have answered the questions correctly. Ready? Go!
So, how was it? Did you manage to beat the time while scoring all answers correct? If you do, well done. If you're not, don't worry. This is just a practice round. I'm sure you only get better soon. You see, there are a few exceptions from the questions earlier that might raise your eyebrows. But do not worry, help is on your way. For the word stop, the correct past tense form is stopped because when a one-syllable verb ends in vowel plus consonant, we need to double the consonant, which in this case, we need to double the letter P before adding the ending ED. However, things get a little bit trickier with these two words, prefer and offer. For these two words, it's all about the stress of the syllables. If the stress is on the final syllable, for example, prefer, so we need to double the R and add ED, which explains why the final answer is spelled out as preferred. But if the stress is placed on the initial syllable, as in the word offer, it is not necessary for us to add another R before adding ED. Hence, the answer is just offered. So, boys and girls, we have learned that in simple past tense, only the verbs to be and action words that change form. But is that all? Well, as I mentioned before, there's another form of action words, and they are called the irregular verbs. Just like its name, these irregular verbs do not need additional ending, such as D, ED, and IED. However, it has completely different from altogether. Some of them change vowels, such as run and ran, write and wrote, know and knew, sing and sung, come and came, give and gave, swim and swam, throw and threw, hold and held, drink and drunk, get and got. While some others change from a double vowel to a single vowel. For example, shoot and shot, choose and chose. There are also some that ends in EEP that change to EPT, like sleep and slept, keep and kept, weep and wept. At times, some of them either change completely or do not change at all. Just like these words, go and went, take and took, leave and left, see and saw, meet and met, make and made, buy and bought, catch and caught, sell and sold. Let and let, put and put, cut and cut. So we have sing and sang, drink and drank, catch and caught, choose and chose, stand and stood, buy and bought, sell and sold, eat and ate, blow and blew, read and read, grow and grew, send and sent, run and ran, freeze and froze, fight and fought, fly and flew, ride and rode, steal and stole, wear and wore, win and won, sleep and slept, sit and sat, build and built, hit and hit, drive and drove, 
fall and fell. Hide and hit, hold and held, leave and left, quit and quit, seek and sought, cut and cut, think and thought, write and wrote. There you have it, all 34 pairs of irregular verbs. Mind you that there are more irregular verbs out there, but I am only listing out the most common one for you to remember. Make sure to do a lot of reading to meet them all, okay? Uh-oh, it's time that we've all been waiting for. The challenge time. I wonder what kind of challenge will it be today? Let's wait for the Grand Wiz, okay? Oh, Grand Wiz! Hi, Mr. D and friends. There you are, Grand Wiz. Uh, so, what's our challenge for today? Hmm, well, for today, we'll be playing a game called Snakes, Snakes and Ladders. We will show you a board and there will be pictures of verbs on the board. Then, we will take turns to throw the dice and see what numbers we are going to land on. Hmm, if we land on any of the pictures, you will have to come up with a simple past tense sentence for it. For example, if we land on the picture of sit, you have to make a simple past sentence using the word, say, Abu sat on that table yesterday. is very jealous of us, we will only play for a few times, okay? Remember, whenever you form a simple past sentence, you need to have simple past tense verbs, either verbs that are regular or verbs that are irregular. And do not forget to add the time words too. You could use time words like yesterday, last year, just now, a few minutes ago, and so much more. If you're ready, let's start the game. Thank you, Grand Wiz. That's so much fun. I wish you let me play as well. Mm, sorry, Mr. D. I was so excited to play the game that I forgot to invite you. Uh, you never mind. It's fun fact time. Swims will be swims even when turned upside down. I am is the shortest complete sentence in English language. Are you happy? I am. A pangram sentence is one that contains every letter in the language. For example, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious it's not the longest word in English. Wow, that's a lot to digest in a day, right? But I am pretty sure you had so much fun learning about simple past tense with us, right? Since time is not on our side, let's recap what we have learned for today. So boys and girls, today, we have learned that simple past tense are actions that have been done in the past. We normally use time words such as these to indicate the past tense. We've also learned that in simple past tense, only the verbs that change. This could be verbs to be, such as was and were, or even the regular and irregular verbs. We've also learned that 
these verbs could either have an additional of D, ED, or IED at the end of it. More importantly, some words, especially the irregular verbs, change, could change their forms too. So, Grandwiz, do you have anything to say before we end the show for today? Hmm, yes, Mr. D. We know it was unfair for you to just see us play snakes and ladders from the screen, so we want you to have the same fun as well. Therefore, for today's mega challenge, we would love to challenge you to make your own version of the simple past tense, snakes and ladders. As always, you may share with us your final product on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok by using these hashtags shown on the screen. Gram it right, gram whiz, or grammar made easy. That will be all for today. See you later, alligators. Goodbye. Goodbye.